Hello, uh, this is Fusey, and welcome back to a review on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Tales of the T, Volume 2, Issue Number 49, Mind Games. Uh, this issue, it's uh, not good, I won't lie. So this one is dealing with the events of Volume 2 and where things left off. So if you don't know what happened at the end of that uh, series, it's weird in a way. So basically with that series, it was this whole thing that uh, Rock got captured by like Area 51, so everyone went off to go rescue him, and things went from bad to worse, as Casey became, became Rambo, they fought aliens, and then this person we show with who was helping them called a uh, bronzer he has this like ability to um like he can like go in people's minds and give them like images and stuff like that and made everyone think that everyone died in like, area 51 and tells died and stuff like that and then the rest of the tells memories of what happened and this is where we do uh, pick up and it's not interesting because where they do like what happens in this issue it's more or less like saying, oh yeah, the Tales of now, and that's it. There's nothing to the story, it's really boring, and if anything, I just don't care about these characters. And even like when reading like, like Volume 2, I didn't care about the character, and even after reading this issue, I still don't care. If anything, I care less about them now, and like I should be more interested in this story, but... I didn't really care for the story back then, in fact I got a bit, I was very confused by it, and reading it now, it's just like, uh, who cares, just because they never bring this up ever again, but like, most like tall stories never do, but that's besides the point, um, it's just like, so, like, like trying to make it out like, to be such a big thing, but yeah, I don't think people really cared about this enough for like, them to be like, oh my god, I can't believe they're doing this kind of story. Okay, so with the actual story itself, I thought like we should actually, actually talk about it. So with the Toll side of things, yeah, there's not really so much to it. Leonardo just has, like, a meltdown or something and just starts hallucinating about, like, these, like, dreams. And when he comes around to it, he, he goes on to explain to the one, like, saying, Oh yeah, everything is, like, all, all stuff which happened is wrong, and this, here's what happened. And we do get to see Donatello, he gets a little, like, stress signal on his device saying, like, help me, uh, and stuff like that. And the Tales do go out to go see him, and that's when we do cut over to Bronzer. Now, Bronzer's story, it's, uh, yeah, again, it's not really that good or interesting. So, he's on the run because he thinks that he's getting, like, targeted by some people, and he is. And these people are called... DARPA, or they're part of this org or organization called DARPA, and they're these helmets which block him from using his abilities on them. However, he just gets a gun that shoots them, so yeah, it's just a little bit pointless. And we do get to see another character who comes into it, and she was a old apprentice of um, like this person, or Black Bronzer, and she's using her abilities to kill him because he attacked one of her friends. Yeah, and keep in mind that this girl, we've not seen her before up until this point in the comic, um, so there's no connection with her character, and this all comes out of nowhere, it's just like, huh, okay, but again, because we don't know, like, like, because we don't really care about this character, or this new character, this whole thing just feels so pointless, and just like, okay, so it's a thing that's happening, and... Yeah, it's just a thing that happens, because then she brings in some backup, which turns out is one alien from his crew, and some Triceratons. They're there, and again, they don't do anything, they just <laughs> show up, and they like get beaten up by the turtles, and that's when they come in contact with the turtles, and like, yeah, okay, you might not trust me, but you gotta trust me. All that stuff, I did it for you. And that's it, he then leaves, and that's pretty much it for the story. But then there is a little bit at the end which was like even more pointless. Just because at the bit at the end, it's all like teasing things for the future. But because we haven't seen this character or any of these characters be like before that or after the story, it feels like we're never gonna get a conclusion to the story. 
And she I don't care. Um, but this little backup bit, we do get to see he's kidnapped um, two girls, the ones which you fought earlier. And he's saying, that, like, you know, you got to learn lessons. you got to, like, learn, like, control of your abilities. You can't go around abusing your powers. And yet he's literally just abusing his powers to contain them inside a prison. Which I understand the reasons why, but at the same time, just feel a little bit hypocritical for quite a few reasons why. And, yeah, that's pretty much it where we do leave this story off. And, uh, I mean, I really want... I, 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 I say if I want to enjoy these issues, because... I mean, I do, because it's Turtles, but with these characters, I just could not care less for most of them, just because, like, they haven't been in the story or, like, the Toll series for quite a while, and when we did last see them, I didn't really care too much for them, I don't remember the story all too well, or even cared for it, and got, like, very confused by it all, when I did read it, like, quite a while back, but even now, like, it's reading this new story with the character, and knowing that he pretty much up again, I just don't care about it. And it's a shame because I don't want to like it because it's Turtles. But at the same time, I just find it really hard to really like it. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, one uh, little detail which I do like, which is not really much of a detail, but it's just Jim Lawson doing the artwork. And I know there's not really much of a big deal. But, like, knowing for, like, like last issue, which was uh, during Volume 2, that's done by Jim Lawson, and now this one is done by Jim Lawson. Something about it just, I don't know, just has, like, a different kind of feeling compared to, like, other issues. Just because, like, with other issues, it was done by different artists, like, saying, like, different, like, volumes and stuff like that. But knowing that this one is a continuation of the Volume 2 stuff, and it's done by Jim Lawson, it does have, like, a different kind of feeling, like... Ah, oh, okay, so he gets to, like, probably continue, like, probably, like, you know, like, finish off his story, which is, like, pretty great, because I know that in quite a lot of instances with other creators, artists, writers, and stuff like that, they've not been able to, like, probably finish their work, and knowing that Jim Lawson wasn't able to probably finish off his volume, and now he gets the chance to, like, wrap things up many years later, is good, but at the same time... Who really cares about it? I, I, I'm, I don't want to be negative here, but like, who really cares? So, yeah, there's that. And also, like, with the last issue, I do sort of wish that this one was incurred, just so that there was a bit more of a continuity in place. I don't know, something about it would be made a bit more, like, special and be like, okay, yeah, this really is a direct continuation of Volume 2, but at least we're getting this issue, just still don't care for it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this issue. Do you like it? Do you not? Do you even care about these characters? And, uh, yeah. Uh, that's going for today, guys. If you just want, please share. Let's just grab on stuff. Goodbye, yo. Bye.